All right, so apparently there's big news out of New York that women keep getting punched in the face. Um, they're just walking down the street and then people punch him in the face. Apparently, they're saying the knockout game may be back. This is a game played in New York uh, amongst, I don't know, hoodlums, ruffians, banditos. I guess they're not stealing anything, so they're not bandits. But the game is just to run up and attack people. Welcome to the streets of New York, I guess. Uh, I got to be honest, guys. I know a lot of people are talking about this story, but I really just don't care that women are getting punched in the face. I literally don't. You know, the thing about New York is that it's a liberal stronghold. You can't have a gun. The criminals are being let out. And these people just keep voting for it over and over and over again. And so I'm, I'm at this point where I've described this before. Where, look, Listen, I ain't even mad. OK, you voted for it. You live the way you want to live. Who's to complain? Now, me, you know, I live out here in West Virginia and West Virginia. We have a constitutional carry. So I have guns, lots of them. And I ain't had no problems. Now, don't get me wrong, like the, our business has been targeted and stuff, and the police help uh, come and help take care of that stuff. It's not always been perfect. We had the cops show up here, and even though I said, do not enter my property, they said, we're going to do whatever we want. That's not fun. But for the most part, with um, we're, we're about to completely relocate in like a week to our new studio, which is like we're like half there. And, um, you know, my attitude is, ain't nobody coming, coming onto my property and messing with me because, you know, the way we handle things out here is very different to the way they handle things out there. So for these ladies posting these videos, talking about how uh, they're getting punched in the face, I mean, my attitude is plainly just like, yeah, OK, I mean, that's great. Like if a guy came to me and said, I voted for them to build a statue of Pac-Man. And then later he posts a video where he's like, they're building a statue of Pac-Man. I'd be like, that, that's good for you. You know what I mean? Like, I think the problem a lot of conservatives have is that because they don't want to live this way, they immediately assume this is out of the ordinary for what the average voter in New York wanted. Now, let me let me stress this. These women may not be happy they're getting punched in the face, for sure. But the majority of people in New York who with smiles on their faces keep voting for this. Yo, I watched the protests. I'm not even being cute. These protesters come out and they're like, yes, we want the criminals to be let go. The cops are bad. All right. Well, let's hear what these uh, these ladies have to say about getting punched in the face. You guys, I was literally just walking and a man came up and punched me in the face. Oh, my God. It hurts so bad. I can't even talk. Literally, I fell to the ground. And now this giant goose egg is forming. And I'm like, oh, my God. It looks so crazy. So I just got punched in the face walking home. I was literally like leaving class. I turned the corner and I was looking down and I was looking at my phone and like texting. And then out of nowhere, this man just came up and hit me in the face. I'm like actually in shock right now. I'm just like walking home because what else do you do? Um, uh, yeah, so I, I have fallen victim to uh, the... <laughs> The um, men in New York City lifting an elbow or trying to punch innocent girls on the street. Except I wasn't on my phone. I was with my coworkers walking in Times Square. So be safe out there. It's my first TikTok. Wow, they these they have like huge welts on their head. That's crazy. NBC News says several women have come forward on social media showing incidents in which they said they were punched by men while walking the streets of downtown Manhattan in broad daylight in the last month. Multiple videos were uploaded. One woman said she was assaulted walking from class. New York police said they made an arrest of, uh, in one of the incidents and are investigating another. While police couldn't, uh, wouldn't confirm that the incidents described in the TikTok videos are those they're investigating, they shared that they're looking into cases that are very similar. Officials said it's unclear whether the two incidents they are investigating are connected. The videos have circulated amid widespread perceptions in the U.S. that crime is rising, despite recent FBI data that suggests it decreased last year. Concerns over public safety have continued to loom in New York City. A series of recent high profile crimes in the subway prompted Governor Hochul to send the National Guard in. Blah, blah, blah. Look, come on. I'm not going to play this game, OK? We got New York City Council member Amanda Farias saying, where are the men calling this out? 
Well, uh, I need only scroll down to show you the picture of the man who was calling. Oh, there he is. Oh, look at this. Everyone's just posting pictures of uh, this here feller. Uh, Daniel Penny. Was it Penny? Yeah, uh, Perry. I thought it was Penny. Everybody always confuses Perry and Penny. Um, I thought it was Penny, right? Because <clears throat> I think Perry is the guy in Austin. Let's just double check because there's two guys. There's two guys, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, it's Daniel Penny. Perry is the guy who was in Austin and the far left came up to his car and the guy had a rifle and at low ready. So the guy shot him and you know he went to jail. Penny is the guy who uh, tried to save women from being attacked by a dude in the subway. Yeah, well, he's going to jail, probably. And I'll give him some. Here we go. The Women's Caucus NYC says, we are deeply disturbed and concerned about widespread reports of attacks against women in New York City that have been confirmed. No, you know, just just shut your mouths. OK, just shut up, politicians. You don't get to vote for this. Scream and beg for it and then get all mad when it happens. You know, I don't even care. Look, did you know that men are five times more likely to be the victims of violent crime than women? But certainly the squeaky wheel gets the grease. So the only thing we ever hear in the media is like, oh, poor women. We, they, people have done these these uh, social experiments all the time. You got one video that went viral, particularly, particularly viral, where it's a man and woman walking down the street and the guy's berating the woman and then shoves her and a bunch of guys run up like, hey, man, don't you touch her. And then you have the inverse. There, a guy and a woman are walking down the street and the woman's slapping the guy, and hitting him and screaming at him. And he's going like this and everyone's laughing. Yeah. But, you know, it's because we get it. The reason why ain't nobody intervened when the man was being hit is because Women on average are women, women are substantially weaker than men on average. Not every single woman, not every single man, but on average, right? You look at the grip strength and we, we, we love talking about this one. The uh, average grip strength of a man is higher than the strongest grip strength of a uh, grip strength of a woman. I am. Uh, this is not an exaggeration. There are certainly women with better with more grip strength than men, but the highest on the highest average bell curve for grip strength among women is lower than the than the average point for men. So like, like okay, what I'm trying to say is the strongest women, the highest bracket for grip strength among women is below average male grip strength. And that's not surprising. So of course, when it comes to men who have more bone density, more muscle mass, typically taller, more skin collagen, yeah, we're trying to protect women. Women, when y'all overwhelmingly vote for these policies that lead to this, ain't nobody going to come run to your defense. If there's a burning building and there's a woman inside screaming, stay away from me, I'd be like, OK, if there is a woman who lives in her house and she's flicking matches and then she's and, and I say to her, like, I think it's a really bad idea that you're flicking matches. And she goes, I want the right as a woman to flick matches. I'll say, OK. Then she lights a fire up. The building goes up. and I'm not going in there. You expect me to run in there? No, get out of here, man. Look, it's teamwork. It's responsibility. You want the hero to save the day? Do you want the big strong man to run and kick the door down and rescue from from the fire? Then you have to at least agree to be responsible. If a it, this is the funny thing, you see all these videos. They 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 they, they do these man in the street interviews where uh, numerous people have done this now. They walk up to men and they go to men and say, "Do do men need women? Need women?" And all the men go, yeah, of course. Then they walk up to women and they go, do women need men? And I'll go, no way. Women don't need men. It's like, OK, have fun. Have fun. I, I ain't, I ain't going to jump to your defense walking around New York City. You're getting punched in the face. Now, I know not all of these women who are getting punched in the face are liberals. I, I didn't say that. I'm saying you still choose to live there. We know this is happening. I ain't about to rush to anybody's defense. Look. At this point, we are dealing with geographic hyperpolarization and no good answers. You can simply leave. You know, it's sad to see, but New York is far gone. My concern is the people who choose to stay there are propping the system up. And maybe the fastest way to end the, the fracturing of New York is to get out. Let New York be overrun by uh, criminals and th those lacking merit. And then you leave. But I'll tell you this for the time being. NYPD, I find is laughable. Like, why would you want to? It's it's so insane. You can't afford to live in New York and you're getting paid this garbage rate to be a cop. Yeah, people are willing to do anything. Let New York crumble. 
A lot of people say, no, it's one of our great cities, but okay, fine, fair point. I just, I'm looking at this and I'm like, ladies, you come to West Virginia. If I'm walking down the street and you're walking down the street in West Virginia and a man comes up and hits you, I will intervene because we don't stand for that out here. But in New York, they do. And they vote for it over and over and over again. I got to be honest, though, my friends, ain't no lady in West Virginia need me to run and intervene on their behalf. You know why? Because she's probably got like a 380 in her purse or in her hip holster or, you know, on her belt. Guy comes up to her. She draws her gun and goes, can I help you? And the guy's like, oh, nothing. So that's why that stuff doesn't happen here. Because the ladies out here be strapped. Constitutional carry. And if they're not, they walk right in. They fill out their, their NICS form. And then they take their gun. And, you know, a 380, small little thing. I mean, even a tiny little 22. You, 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 some guy's going to walk up to a lady out in West Virginia and she could pull out a desert eagle and he's going to be like, can you handle that? And she goes, want to find out? Oh, I love this state. <laughs> I'm not confident that you can actually fire that desert eagle. And she'll be like, well, you're more than welcome to see if I can or can't. Yeah, it's, it's look, there's a lot of crime in West Virginia. That's true. There's violent crime in West Virginia, for sure. But at the very least, you recognize with that crime, you have the right to defend yourself. Not in New York. That's a struggle, huh? I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up at 6 p.m. on this channel. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see y'all then.